Guido Jennings, Gracie Jiu Jitsu over 50, episode 4. Why should you watch Guido Jennings, Gracie Jiu Jitsu over 50? Because I believe that I can make your Jiu Jitsu better and make you last longer in the sport. So even though you're 20, maybe 15, 30, 35, it doesn't matter. If you watch my videos, I do believe that you will last longer in the sport, you will enjoy the sport longer less injuries and you're gonna learn faster. So, today my topic is tunnel vision. I watch people spar and I see the opportunities watching them but they don't see them. And it could have several reasons, they don't know, maybe they're too exhausted already to see it, but every move has many, many different variations and a lot of times we don't see them. So we're gonna talk about tunnel vision a little bit. I'm gonna make one big example. And then at the end of the video, we have the typical bonus tip. So I'm gonna uh, give you one secret uh, tip I use for the triangle. Very important to finish a good triangle. Uh, I have a very special friend today here. So again, the one thing I love about the Gracie Jutsu Academy, we have people coming in from all over the world, from all over the states, to come and train here. So today we have Kevin McLaughlin here. He's been here for a few days. And Kevin has a very, very special uh, story to tell us. So tell us a little bit. So about four years ago, maybe five, I was diagnosed with something called Graves' disease, which affected my eyes, my muscles, my heart, my joints. And I had been doing jiu-jitsu for about two years prior to that and kind of had to change the way I trained because it affected my heart so much. Even at rest, my heart would be at an elevated state. So you can only imagine how it, my heart was when I was doing jiu-jitsu. Um, when I first started doing jiu-jitsu, I had to stay very calm and I, I couldn't overexert myself because my heart would get amped up very quick. So I had to learn to stay relaxed, stay calm, monitor my heart rate. And uh, the most important thing was, was me being on the mat. So I really had to change the way I approached jiu-jitsu and trained jiu-jitsu because I had to keep my heart even the whole time. Amazing. That he even still thinking about training jiu-jitsu is amazing. But what it has forced him to do is to really notch it down a little bit, pace himself, and the result is that his jiu-jitsu is way above average than what I see other purple belts because he is not going do or die. He's keeping it playful all the time. He has to keep it playful and therefore his jiu-jitsu has become really, really good, outstanding. If you're ever in Colorado, Parker, yes. go and see him. So he's going to help me out with the... the um, was the move today, was the technique, and focus tunnel vision, okay? So, so we're here in the guard, and we're gonna accomplish the triangle setup, right? And there's many different ways. We got this one, boom, right here. So a lot of times, I see people struggling finish the triangle from here. And it is sometimes very difficult, especially if the partner or our opponent wedges this arm, or maybe they're gonna stack us forward, and it makes it really difficult to lock up this triangle, all right? So, for 90% of you out there watching this video right now, triangle, triangle, triangle. Finish it no matter what. But, my friends, this right here doesn't only say triangle. It says many different things. Let me show you. Straight armbar. If his hand comes across, there is an Americana. If for some reason I cannot wedge his hand right here, I just grab his wrist, punch it out, and we're going to loop it for Kimura. So. Triangle setup. Don't only think triangle. That's tunnel vision. This triangle setup gives you so many more opportunities. Let's rotate one time. 
So here's the key to expose this arm over there. Look how I'm rotating my hip out, away from me. I put my hand on my knee right here just to make sure I stay there and he doesn't come back to me. And it exposes this arm back here. Now I go fishing for it. I wrap this one really tight and we do a straight arm bar, reversed arm bar from here. So it's a really, really good technique out of this triangle setup. Really, really good if you're struggling finishing this triangle. All right, and especially if he's really stubborn with his arm on this side. So because what we want to do is we want to bring it across and finish it right here. So, this is just one example of tunnel vision in Jiu-Jitsu. So, like I said, I see many, many opportunities when I watch guys spar. They don't see it because they only see one technique versus a whole principle of the setup. Okay, so if you start understanding principles, you're going to be able to submit more people and you're going to be able to understand how to solve more problems. So, bonus tip for today. Triangle. So here we go. His arm is wedged. What I want you to be able to do is I want you to get a nice little bite on his neck and squeeze. And he taps. So, and I'm not paying him money to tap right now. No. He actually, it's in the angles of my leg. Look, number one is, let's rotate it over here, please. Look how my leg is on his hip and I'm pinchy here. When I lock this up, I raise my hip and I get a real deep bite over his neck. Boom, my calf is behind his neck and my hamstring is right in his artery. Boom, deep bite and I pinch it down and I squeeze. It's a done deal. Whether this arm is over here or not, I don't have to fight to get this arm across, which makes it tighter, yes, but it's not necessary and it's too much work. Now, when next time you practice the, um, the triangle, you should practice this with your partner. If you can choke your partner like this without locking it up, you have the proper angles. Super important. Do it. Boom. Finish it. Amazing. Now, let's talk about the crooked second bonus tip. Crooked lockdown. I want full lockdown like this, right? But sometimes the body configuration don't work. I end up right here. And it looks like an ugly lock. But guess what? I'm grabbing my own knees. And I'm going to squeeze. Who cares how it's locked up? As long as we can create an inverted squeeze like this, anything works. I wrap my own knees. And now I bring my hands and knees together in the center. And I finish it. Want to try that one time? Sure. So here we go. We're going to go into the triangle setup. Boom. There it is. Nice. So from here, I want you to finish me right now. Get a good angle. Foot on the hip. Mm -hmm. Pull yeah. it. No, just with the bite. Finish it with the bite. Hmm. You guys know I'm not, I, I'm unchokable, right? So. What we're missing is the angle. Scoot out a little bit. And now do it again. Done. Mm. It's all about the angles, my friends. Super important. One more time, just to make sure we got it. <laughs> Amazing. The other one is ugly lockup. Reach around your own knees and bring everything together in the center. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Done deal. If you have the proper angle of the choking leg, any of these variations should work. Keep that in mind. Practice that. All right? Germany, July 23rd through August 16th. 
I'm coming for three weeks. I have seminars in Hamburg, Dusseldorf, Duisburg, Saarbrücken, uh, a couple of others still in the making. I want to see you guys there. I hope you can make it. Kevin, I really appreciate you and I wish you all the best. Thank you. In your future career. And by the way, you are how old? 45. 45 years old, not quite over 50 yet, but I know he will still be around at 50, probably at 60 or 70. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Kevin, I was so impressed with your jujitsu and with your mindset of keeping it playful, and it really has elevated jujitsu to the point that I feel that you deserve a couple of strides. So let me uh, give you a couple of friends here for your belt. One and number two. I'm sure your brown belt is not far away. Maybe the next time you come back and see us, you're ready for your brown belt test. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got it.